in one of the oldest inhabited cities of the world. Being poor is a crime. New Delhi can be called home sweet home by its 11 million inhabitants. But for over 100,000 destitute people here, the city offers a very different perspective. On any given day, they run the risk of being mistaken for beggars and thrown in jail. Begging is a crime in the capital and is punishable under the Bombay Prevention of Begging Act. The law describes a beggar as someone who is soliciting alms, but then goes on to include anyone who has no visible means of subsistence and is caught wandering. This means that any person who looks poor and idle can be called a beggar and thrown in jail. It's an aggressive policy, but many agree with it. If it is enforced uh, more uh, strictly, I'm sure we'll have less of begging. Obviously, they should be removed off the roads and off everywhere for India. One man believes this is wrong. They, they are not beggars. These homeless people are not beggars. Yeah, they are urban poor people. They come here uh, all across the country in the search of their better livelihood. So they all are working here. Sanjay Kumar works for the Ashray Adhika Abhiyan, or AAA. He believes there is a difference between homeless people and beggars, and is working to change public opinion and government policies. Now, with the Commonwealth Games just two years away, the Delhi police have been given the go-ahead to arrest anyone who they think is a beggar in order to keep the streets clean. Special force has already been earmarked who are working jointly with uh, social Welfare Department of Government of NCT Delhi and they are already in action uh, in full swing to check this menace of begging. Sanjay now has to work harder in order to help the homeless. Putting these homeless people inside the jail is not uh, going to be a final solution. Maybe today you are going to caught 5,000 homeless people, 4,000 beggars, beggars and produce them in the jail. So this problem is not going to be solved. Later on you will find more poor people on the street. Sanjay is most concerned with homeless people getting caught in the beggar net. He has heard many stories of mistaken identity from those who have come off the street to shelters like this one in Old Delhi. Veena is a widow. She has been mistaken for a beggar twice and knows what the inside of a cell looks like. Out of 50, 30 of the women were not beggars and 20 had no one to look after them. And Bola from Itawa, who has been homeless for many years, he too has been imprisoned. If I eat without working, then the police will come and put me into the jail. In cases like these, the police have no sympathy. They say people change their tune to escape punishment. In fact, whosoever is uh, rounded up, they have their different versions and to uh, their defense they may make uh, different types of claim but only beggars uh, are rounded up in beggars uh, act and sent to beggars home. It's a poverty trap which the police have little time for. One of the people who is trying to help is Paramjit Kaur, the head of the AAA. She doesn't believe this is the way to treat homeless human beings. They are productive citizens of society but so far socially excluded because of lack of policies for them or because of lack of entitlement to any sort of a scheme of the government. The AAA is involved in promoting and protecting the human rights of the homeless. They run 40 homeless shelters across the city and claim their interventions reach over 80% of Delhi's homeless. With the police drive to get the poor off the streets, the AAA has come up with their own method to help solve the problem. There was a lot of demand from these people about savings and these people's money they could not save just because uh, it used to get stolen at night time or the, on, while coming back from uh, work late night the people used to get their uh, uh, pockets picked up or uh, they used to squander away the money either by drinking or uh, just wasting money. Seeing their need for a safe place to keep money Paramjit and her team decided to give homeless people what they least expected. A bank account. And thanks to their efforts, a new banking system has been especially devised for the homeless. We as a mediator introduce them to banks and then uh, um, the bank account gets opened. They will be issued a 
ATM card, they do not need to travel uh, to the bank branch to operate this. The bank branch contact person comes here with a small machine uh, which has it, uh, their records. So through that machine, uh, these people can operate, withdraw as well as uh, take out money. It's a simple scheme and one that works. For those who can't read or write, a thumbprint is all that's needed. Word has spread fast and for people like Uma, coming here has been a lifeline. As I'm living on the street, people snatch my money and that's why a bank account is important. Giving homeless people bank accounts has far-reaching implications and is a first for the city. Never, I think, never in the history of the homeless people in Delhi. At least, very authentically I can say, I don't know about, but probably in the country, it would be the first step. And first steps towards their uh, upward mobility in all ways. They would save money, they can plan, they can take on, you know, take on loan, they can um, uh, then start their own small business or, on their own. In a period of a few short weeks, over 7,000 homeless people applied for the card. This account will provide them a sort of identity of any normal citizen. This bank account will diminish the gap between the haves and have-nots in a very shorter time. Feeling they can make a difference, Paramino team are now expanding. We motivate people. Uh, we have a team of uh, dedicated staff which moves around the peop oh, people in shelters, different shelters, and tell them that, okay, this is the scheme. And they don't stop there. The Ashray Adika Abiyan is planning the biggest gathering of the homeless. We are running a campaign. We plan to have this program, Mahapanchat, in front of this Red Fort. So, because Red Fort is a symbol of our democracy. In iconic old Delhi, the AAA has managed to get together 5,000 homeless people for the annual Mahat Panchat, or Parliament of the Homeless, to give them a voice. Here a memo is handed over to the government with a list of demands. In this memorandum, we have asked uh, equate number of shelters. Homeless as a society, they don't have any uh, schemes. Government should address these homeless problems. It's an initiative that is gathering popular support. I think it's a very good thing and uh, to support them and to give them a home. Create a skills in them so that they grow, so that they, they can stand on their own feet and walk along with us. With support of the NGOs like the AAA, the homeless are a step closer to having their voices heard. But they still have a mountain to climb. As far as the police are concerned, they are going to continue to arrest the poor. It's a black and white issue. I predict there will be more rounding up and uh, more... Uh, action against uh, the balance of beggars and uh, either by the way of conviction or rehabilitation, this uh, problem is uh, going to be checked. Until a different approach is taken by the authorities, the welfare of these unfortunates lies on the shoulders of a few hard-working volunteers and they want to see a change in attitudes. We have to have a sensitized government bureaucrats, we have to have sensitized police officers and of course from the civil society sides we need bigger support to handle this uh, human issue collectively.